Hi, I'm Charles Davidson. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Northwestern Memorial Hospital and Northwestern University. I'm the medical director of the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute and clinical chief of cardiology. Valvular heart disease has always been an interest of mine. I've done valvular heart disease interventions for over 20 years now. You could really change the patient's survivability and you could change their quality of life. So interventional cardiology includes uh, transcatheter or less invasive techniques to treat heart disease. TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It is a method of replacing blocked aortic valves through a catheter that is typically inserted through an artery in the groin. We go up across the native valve and can pin the native valve leaflets back and then insert a new valve that becomes the functioning aortic valve. TAVR also includes treatment of blocked aortic valves from other access points within the body. If your femoral arteries or groin arteries are too small, we can access it through small incisions between the ribs or in the breastbone or even through arteries up in the upper body uh, near the armpit area. As we use TAVR today in the United States, it's primarily indicated for patients who are not candidates for conventional surgical aortic valve replacement or are at high risk for conventional surgical aortic valve replacement. As this technology improves over time, we hope to be able to treat patients that are less risky, the intermediate risk group, and maybe someday the low risk group. But as we look at it today, it is primarily indicated for those that do not have the best options with conventional treatment. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, as it's currently indicated in the United States, is for patients with tricuspid, severe, symptomatic aortic stenosis who are high risk or inoperable. It's going to improve their survivability over medical treatment because they cannot have surgery and TAVR is their best option. It'll improve their survivability by over 50%. For patients who are at high risk, it's gonna give you a faster recovery with the same amount of survivability, and now we have data out to three years to prove that. Northwestern has done approximately 160 transcatheter aortic valve replacements uh, to date. I have personally been involved with a number of additional cases uh, over in Europe, probably have about 300 aortic valve replacements that I've been involved with. My advice for a patient would be to speak to their physician and their cardiologist about what treatments may be available. And at that point in time, seek out a center that is very experienced in transcatheter valve replacement. And while you may not be able to be treated in one center. Another center may have options available for you uh, that uh, will help your situation. Mm -hmm.